Hey everyone, Arthur of Gaming here. Uh, today we're going to look at D&D Beyond, one of my favorite tools as a dungeon master and as a player actually, uh, for playing Dungeons and Dragons anywhere, whether you're playing online, in person with friends, no matter where you're playing it, I love using D&D Beyond with my tablet. It's a great resource. Uh, today we're going to look at one of the tools that comes with D&D Beyond. So if we go over here, we hover over tools, you see there are lots of options. We can do a character builder, a Twitch extension, which I've seen used and have used on some Twitch streams, which is, which is great. But today we're going to look at the beta and counter builder. We go over here, open up the beta and counter builder. Now, the great thing about this encounter builder is you really can use this to build your encounters, uh, track how much experience they are and how difficult the encounter turns out to be, um, especially for new dungeon masters. Sometimes it's hard to know, uh, you know how much experience you should allocate for each, uh, for each encounter. It also keeps track of a daily budget for you, tells you what your daily budget should be based on your characters. So that way you can kind of use this to help build. I find, uh, in my experience, my players are pretty smart, so I have to build my encounters a little harder than I think I normally would to make it a good uh, encounter for, for them. But, uh, but this works really, really well. Now, one of the great things about this is is you can adjust the number of characters in your party level on the, on the fly, so you can manage characters. If you look here, you can use 501 characters, 505, etc., etc. You can just, instead of doing a preset, which is all here, you can just do this preset. You can pick the number of characters. So you can say, add character. We're going to do, you know, we're going to do five characters, and they're going to be level six, and we're going to go. And if you see all this adjusted on on the fly, and told you five characters, level six, boom, here, here, here they are. If you are the dungeon master for the campaign and you're hosting the campaign on D&D Beyond, in Managed Characters, you can just choose one of the cam the campaigns. If you see, your your campaigns are all listed right here. So here's all sorts of campaigns, uh, options that you can use. So let's say I'm going to use a River Break campaign. This was a campaign I had uh, for my home game with a few of my friends uh, and my son and my wife. So this campaign here, you could add characters here if you need to. Uh, but we'll just go with the four level six. We'll close this. And if you see, it does say campaign river break right here. Uh, it tells you the number of characters and the average party level here. All this, of course, adjusts everything here. So let's take, let's just name this. We'll call this the D&D Beyond video number one. And that's what that is. You could always hit the breadcrumb here and you can go back to all of you, all of your encounters. I'll show you that in a little little bit. Now, the thing with this that is really powerful is all your monster search is right here, which is great. Uh, you can use this little burger menu, as they call it, to drag a monster over here and drop it in the monster area. You can just hit add as well and it will add the monster over. You can click this little down arrow and it shows you the stat block for the for the monster, which is great if you don't know what they are. Uh, dif general difficulty, CR, size, type, and name. And you can search by those things. You can hit the little arrows and search up or down based on, you know, CR. If you want to go like this, here, I, here, here we go. Now I'm choosing CR0 creatures, but now go hit it again. And now I'm starting at CR30, which is not going to go in for my party of four level sixes. or not going to be doing a CR CR30. Where it's also powerful is you have filters. So you can change by monster type. You can say, I want all fiends. And boom, here we go, fiends. Still sorted. So I could change the sort again back to normal, back to like low to high instead of high to high to low. Um, you can choose what environment they're in. If you are if you happen to be doing like an Underdark cam campaign, you can put that filter on there. And now here's filtering even, even, even more. You can choose what source. So if you don't have some of these books, uh, either on Dandy Beyond or physical books. Maybe you you know want to have the physical book so you can show the players what the creature looks like in person, or some other source that you have a like a physical object by by alignment, depending on what you're doing there. Uh, you can choose homebrew only or show official only in case you have a large collection of homebrew creatures you have either uh, gotten off the internet or created yourself. 
you can adjust by challenge rating. Now, if you watch in this middle area, when I adjust by challenge rating, this does filter on the fly. We should see the 11 drop off here in a second. There you go, the 11's gone. Now we're down here like this, you see it dropping. So you can adjust this challenge rating here to filter this down a little bit. You can also do it by size. So you can start with gargantuan to huge to large to medium to when you see how it adjusts everything on the fly, which is great too. Uh, the other bonus this is you, you can uh, hit the little X's to clear these filters, right? All these things go back to normal. And you can search in here. So we can search in here. So let's say I have four level six characters. Let's say I'm going to go with a decent sized encounter. Let's go with some orcs because everybody loves to beat up orcs. Um, and we're going to go with this. We're going to adjust the CR just so I can see the smaller size. I want to have a few few creatures here. Let's take an Eye of Grimsh. And let's put that over here. That's how you can drag it. Or you can just choose basic orcs. You can add. And now you can just keep it in add. If you see, I hit it. It gives you another one there. It kind of separates them out. I don't like doing that. I'd rather have these separate. So orc here, I can just hit the plus, And let's say we got like four orcs there, right? And then I have Grimsh. And let's say we have a... This is one of my big beefs right now with this. And this is in beta. So hopefully this will get fixed at some point in time. But you can't expand these columns. So... I don't know what this creature is here by hovering over. I know if I go over here, it does. It tells me what the what the what the creature is, but it doesn't when you hover over the name. I'd really like to be able to expand this column, maybe delete columns or something along along those lines. But let's say you don't know what the creature is. So right, this is orc red fan something. I can hit this down arrow, bam, red fang of Sarga Shargas. And I can look here, gives me all the stats and everything. And so I can say, oh, okay, this, this one will prob probably work. And I will add that to my game as well. Now, um, this tells you, as you see, the difficulty is changing on the fly. You can hover over it, tells you. A medium encounter has one or two scary moments for the players, but the characters should emerge victorious with, with no casualties. One or more of them might need to use healing resources. Interesting, right? Now, what if we had another one of these? Bam, now we're in deadly, and that says could be lethal for one or more players. Survival often requires good tactics and quick thinking, and the party risks defeat. So I don't want it to be that way. I'll stick with, with medium. You can also see there's an adjusted XP. If you look here, um, more attack rolls against characters in and around, the more dangerous it actually, it actually becomes. So there's a multiplier for the encounter based on how much experience it is based on how many monsters there are. Because if you think about it, especially, you know, if you have lower number of characters, I have four characters here, and if I look over here, there's six monsters. So, you know, there's one and a half monsters per character. Those are more attacks against characters. And to me, I personally feel like it's really more about the damage you're taking. Um, it also makes it hard about the damage you're giving out, because if you're not very, very, very big damage dealing characters, you're not going to kill the monsters as fast. So that adjusts the XP's for you. And then you have a daily budget. So this will tell you that assuming on average, blah, 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 uh, this is the number of experience you should do per, per day. Again, I feel it's very important for new DMs to help them plan out their daily budget of encounters uh, if you're doing strictly homebrew kind of um, adventures. So that's adding monsters to it. Again, you can close these up and you can load more if you want to look at more and more orcs. Um, uh, there are advanced filters. You can look here by armor class, hit points. Like if you want some kind of some sort of condition immunity, like you don't want them to be able to be poisoned, you can click on it. Um, huge lots of filters here that you can do to change this whole thing. And now you can also go to a summary. Now in the summary, you can say it's a short summary of your encounter. You can have a more detailed description of, of the encounter. And then you can put treasure and, and, and rewards down here as well. I'm not sure if you can do links like you can in other D&D Beyond things where you can put treasure links down here. So maybe you could find the treasure. I'm not sure about that. I'm not really sure how to do that. I know, I know you can do that. Um, in like creatures, you can link to spells and stuff when you're making a creature. Uh, so I don't know if you can do it with, with treasure here, but if you can, that'd be really cool. Uh, 
and so you can do this nice summary of the, the encounter, very good description. Um, you can't unfortunately put maps in here yet. I'm hoping in the future they're going to come out with some sort of um, adventure builder kind of thing, or maybe even a campaign builder where you can do an entire campaign in here and have all these encounters linked and stuff, which I think would be really great. So we'll save this encounter. Encounter is saved. Now, there is this run encounter, which is going to be the combat tracker alpha, which I'm going to have another video for you guys to watch, so keep an eye open for that. You can always use this trail of breadcrumbs to hit the B to go all the way back to D&D Beyond the home screen, or you can click to My Encounters, and you can look, and you're going to have a whole list of any encounters that you have. I have all sorts of made encounters here. Um, you can filter by campaigns. You can filter by all sorts of stuff there uh, in the My Encounters section. So if you were coming here to just look at what you have, if you want to see your encounters, you can go back to D&D Beyond, you can go to Creations, and you can go to My Encounters, and you can go here, and that brings you back to this exact same same place. So we had D&D Beyond video number one. Let's look here. Here's our Orc, I have Groomsh, here's our Orc, and here's our Red Fang of Shardgrass. And now in the next video, which I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to use the Combat Tracker Alpha with this encounter and show you how you can run it that that way so stay 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 tuned as always follow me on instagram at the arthur of gaming please like my video comment if you if there's something you like or didn't like uh please follow me on youtube i'm trying to get my followers up and so that we can uh you know i know that you guys are liking the content you want me to keep on going uh and as and as always guys stay safe out there and i'll see you soon